Hey everybody, in the last video you saw me doing the, the quick tips guide for the warrior and you may have seen me get stuck in this room and make a total mess of it and almost die twice. Well, here we are going to continue that run and we're going to play until we get ourselves an end game build. So I find that most deaths happen between the sewers, prisons, caves area when you're trying to transition from those early game weapons into something stronger to help you survive. And if you're like me, you're hoarding all your upgrade scroll scrolls and all your potions and everything and you just try to make it to the end. Well, let's see if we can get there. But I feel like if you can master this process of getting your early game to your middle game and just surviving until you can finally find that one item to go all in on, whether it's like armor, a weapon like a good utility ring or even a wand i feel like we can convert most of our games into wins like a oh, pretty high percentage i feel so this video will be cut up into smaller pieces where i'm making big decisions and getting stuck and figuring out like what are some pinnacle moments i have to do if you're looking for a long form playthrough i have full runs of the warrior and other classes where i sit there and debate every little decision decision i make and i like excruciate over every little click like oh should i move here what's it gonna do or what items do i need etc that those videos have a lot more tips too about identifying potions and scrolls and stuff like that all right so let's get to it moving on to floor four here i'm thinking we need some armor i'll see when these identify we may be pretty good on weapons for a bit so when I came down to this floor, there was a little text here. It said this floor contains many secrets, which means there are two secret rooms, I believe, rather than normal, the chance of just having one. I've noticed when I come through and search everything, I often find a secret room like in the middle. So if you do explore the whole area and you find some like blank space still here in the middle, search kind of those walls for doors. I'm also going to search around the outside for doors as well. And you may have noticed I've got my bassy morning voice on. Ha ha. I love me some pixel dungeon in the morning. Hey ghost, you're floor four. That means it's the crab. Let's fight some more stuff first. Oh, I found the secret door. It was right here. Here's one. Also, this plus one cloth armor is doing pretty good. I just got ambushed by a, um, a crab as well as a slime. And I was able to actually just sit there and tank them. I was thinking maybe should I run back to a door and fight one at a time, but you know the crab's going to hit you every hit. So I just thought oh, I'll just stand and fight and it turned out good. Well, let's see what's in here. Mmm, bland fruit and some meat. Yum. Oh, we found the second secret door. It was right here in that same middle room. So what is this? Oh, maybe it's not that secret. Maybe it's just a, an extra pathway. Okay. So hot tip for the crab is to do the ring around the rosy just like you would with goo or anything. I'm pretty sure it works unless it comes it might come straight at me now okay yeah nice because you know the crab moves kind of slow so we go here yeah and it keeps working are you gonna move okay great sometimes if you move too fast like that they'll cut through the grass and they'll smash it all right we got gotcha. you come on ghost give me something good one time please oh get ghost come on okie dokie well I don't think we need the weapon and this could be good so let's see what we get here for the armor come on plus one one time uh plus zero okay is what it is so i'm getting into tier two talent points here you know i often like putting two into this right away because then i just feel like i can use the those uh those glyphs oh what that's what is that thing called oh there's one right on the ground arcane stylus but yeah, I like to use this often too right in it and I can use the arcane stylus and not just have them sit in my inventory forever and do nothing. You can put them on your lower armor and then when you want to switch your armor, you can bring it the uh, the glyph on over with you. So my inventory is getting kind of full, so I'm actually going to go down here to floor five and just like start chucking some stuff on the ground like the bland fruit. You know, do I want to cook it yet? Not quite. I, I like the um, the black one, the star flower or like the, the green, the... Man, my brain is not there this morning. Um, or the yellow, the swiftness, the healing. You know, getting the haste is fun, kind of fun. So I'm not going to cook you right yet. So we'll just go ahead and chuck you down here for a moment. But I'm definitely going to run back up to floor two and use the alchemy pot to make myself some nice meat pie. So a little trick with the crab, since it's going to move two, it'll go move here and hit me. So I'll step back one so now it doesn't hit me. Then we can smack it. I'm really liking the blooming enchantment, by the way. It's kind of fun. You know, I would never say put a 
scroll of upgrade on a cloth armor, but I'm feeling like ridiculously strong. I've just been like smacking things with like no regard and just not even caring. So I just put two points into runic transference. So let's go ahead and use this arcane stylus. Maybe we'll get something good. What did we get? Obfuscation, making us harder to see. Okay, it could be good. You know, it's probably not just the cloth armor plus one. It's also probably because we're like level seven, level eight now. So our evasion and everything's going up because I spent so much time in that poison room and killed a bunch of stuff. Well, we've reached an interesting encounter here, haven't we? Look at you. A blocking scimitar, which is a 14 strength weapon and leather armor of viscosity. I don't have leather yet. Leather could be nice. And I could wear it right away. Um, Maybe we give it a shot. One sec. Let's plan. What would we do? We would probably want to hit it with rocks. And I mean, we could ring around the rosy this pillar and that would give us uh, good chances of hitting. We have full health. We have a healing potion. I mean, I don't think we're going to get much stronger. So we just go like rock. It's going to step here, rock. Yeah, let's give it a shot. And, you know, chances of getting ambushed kind of low. We've killed most things. Okay, let's try it. A rock and a rock. And they both did zero damage. <laughs> so we'll get a surprise hit here for zero. Uh-oh. I hope we have high enough weapon. Okay, so it's going to be taking deferred damage from the viscosity. So maybe we, like, get... Oh, no. This is not looking good. The blocking scimitar is just like too strong or what? Deferred one. So, I mean, we could just like run around while it like slowly takes. Oh, it hit me for 10. Okay, okay, okay. What do we do? I'm thinking we um, postpone this fight because we have some uh, weapons here we can try on. Yeah, we're going to postpone. We will come back. We'll, we'll see you later. Yeah, I don't even care about flies anymore. I'm getting like really overconfident, but I think we're okay. So right now I'm actually grinding EXP because I'm about to go to a healing well and I don't want to go to it when I'm like fully food. I want to be starving and like low on health just to get the most out of it because I was uh, my well fed had worn off and I was like fully satiated. So I'm just going to fight stuff until I'm starving and like willow half health and then I'll go up to the healing well. I think this talent is also very good and very strong. The only problem I have with it is that I always forget to use it. All right, this is one of my favorite moments. I love doing this. It's kind of like opening presents at Christmas. So we can try on some different gear here and see if it's cursed. No, it's not cursed. Great. And we can try you on as well. Okay. Oh, we automatically identified it because of our talents. Okay, fantastic. Also not cursed. I guess we have to, I'm going to step into this well anyways, because I'm hungry. But then again, I could drink this 10 and then throw this in to get it max up to 20, which is stronger. I have a bunch of food. Hmm. Okay, so my plan here is to go fight Goo and go into the prisons and get the one strength potion. So I get up to 13 strength. Then I can switch my um, my seal over onto the male armor, transferring that plus one. Then I can wear plus one male and then we can come back and this statue will be no problem whatsoever. So we're smacking goo just like one does, doing the smackings and our blooming enchantments, just keeping us going with these uh, dew vials. It's fun. Almost there. Good luck so far with no caustic ooze. And every time it does that charge attack, it's like a free round for us. Come on, one more time, one time. All right, we got it. No ooze, no nothing. I always like to throw these merchant tips in every video because the merchant has identify, remove, curse, and magic mapping and the random sometimes so but since it doesn't have the random we know this one's magic mapping so remember we need uh, we need as many of those as we can get but at least four i mean more than four if you're gonna go for the perfect exploration score then you need as many as you can and since we farmed up so much gold in the sewers i can almost completely buy the merchant out i got all the scrolls all the healing potions this could be experience because it had four different ones and there's always a healing, but then the other ones are random. And sometimes they're quite often can be experienced. So I'm going to keep my eye on you, Beast Ray Potion. So this room has explosive traps in it. It's time to test if the spear is plus one, right? I'm get, I'm just kind of hoping there's like an explosive trap around here so I can do some damage to the skeleton. So let's give you a chuck. Oh, no, nothing there. How about you? Are you plus one? Let us see. 
Oh, okay. No, uh, no traps there. <laughs> Unfortunate. But yeah, so if I was to hit a trap and they exploded and were deleted, that means they're just regular. No bonus on them. So usually I would try and save my range weapons for Tengu, but I'm feeling like we're going to have very strong armor by Tengu. And I kind of want to stop some of this early damage from coming in. So I'm actually going to use them uh, against the skeletons here. See if I can weaken it up a bit. And since it's stepped there, we know there's no trap. Let's go ahead. Unfortunately, we're probably still going to take the explosion damage, but not a whole bunch we can do about that. Maybe we can at least get the other skeleton to take the damage too. Let's just step back here. If we wait a turn, we'll take a hit, but at least this one will take a little extra damage. Oh no. Thief, go away. What are you going to steal from me? What? It's told a scroll of remove curse. How dare you? I cannot let that happen. And luckily we... Okay, good. You go in there. I don't have to chase it because I know it's going to get... It's stuck in there. We can take care of the skeleton first, at least. Ooh, not liking this. Well, we need that. We need that um, strength potion really quickly so we can get into this mail. Well, we found a dried rose. And since I have removed cursed scrolls, I definitely think that's strong enough to try using. Hey, it's not cursed. All right. And can we give it any gear yet? No, we don't have anything for it. We had a spear, but... uh. I blew it up. I wanted to know if it was plus one. I didn't want to identify it. And the ghost died. Oops. We found a couple of beast ray potions on the ground. So I'm pretty sure it's levitation at this point since we have this trap room. So let's go ahead and drink it. Yep. Levitation. What did we get? More mail or scale armor. Hmm. Oh, dang. Our inventory's full. Should have checked that first because we could totally run out of turns of levitation. So let's just, let's just, uh, let's chuck one. Who do we want to chuck? I'm going to chuck you. No, no, no. Let's chuck uh, you. You know, I am destroying so much equipment doing this, but I just love it. It's so much fun. It's like a little gamble. The question is, are you plus one? So we will see if you get destroyed and we will see if you get destroyed. I'm holding on to these because, you know, I'm going to need to use something. Also, a uh, skeleton dropped us runic blade. So that is an angle. We could go a bunch of upgrades into it because the thing with the runic blade is, let's see if we look at its description here. It benefits more from upgrades, and I'm pretty sure that means it gets tier 5 scaling. So most two, tier 4, you have plus 1, plus 4 on an upgrade, but the Runic Blade will get plus 1, plus 5. I think the only downside is maybe its base damage is a little bit lower. But um, I think with the uh, Warrior, since we get strong armor, that will buy us a little more time to maybe find a different weapon. So we don't have to go all in immediately, and we're still not... We're not totally hurting yet. We have a little bit of healing left. Okay, time for the big moment. Are you plus one? Oh, yes, they both are. Oh, you know what that means? I should remove curse on it right away. Displacement. Yeah, I don't really want to get randomly teleported around the, the level. It sounds fun, but it also sounds like after a while it could be annoying. So let's go ahead and equip it. Sure enough, look at that, plus one. Oh, you know, I still need that. Oh, I still need that strength potion. So let's just go ahead and equip this again. Next floor, we'll definitely find it on floor seven. So I got a little clever here and so far it looks like it's working out. I had the thief and the skeleton come at me up here at the same time and I knew the thief was gonna steal from me and run away and I would just have to be hit by the skeleton while I chased it down. So I was luckily able to find a nice little hallway here. So now the thief has nowhere to run and the skeleton will sit there and block it. So I don't have to sit here and take free hits from the skeleton. So I haven't gotten my upgrades or anything yet. I'm still in my sewers gear and I just encountered my first sewer guard or prison guard who's coming after me. So I just, I have to do something. I'm, so what I'm gonna do actually is tip these darts here with some sorrow moss. It's the only thing I have, but if I can get some poison rolling on it, I think that'll help quite a bit. So I'll just wait right here because um. It's only a few steps away. Yeah, there it is. So let's see if we can get it poisoned. Oh, what happened? I hit the wall. Oh, man. I thought I could cut that corner. I'm going to go for the point blank, even though the accuracy is lower. I don't think it'll break. Will it ruin the tip? Okay, we got the poison in. All right, that's going to make... I think that's going to make a huge difference. So let's see. Yeah, I hit for three. The poison did two. I hit for four. The poison did two. Okay, well, at least I'm hitting it. See, there we go. Blocked and the poison is still ticking. Oh, I hit for seven. Dang, maybe I didn't need it. Yeah, see there, I hit for zero. I don't know. It's going to help. We're just trying to 
We're at, our, we're at our absolute weakest right now, and we're about to get super strong. We just need that strength boost. Look at this absolute mess. I got the corpse dust. I'm heading straight down to get to the old wand maker to turn it in. And there's a prison guard in the way. So now it looks like I have to go all the way around while getting hit by race and making more of them. This could get ugly fast. Okay, I made it. Thank you for not pulling me in there, prison guard. Well, these are both good choices. I don't know what to take at this point. I think fire blast is a bit stronger. Let's see. So, I think I'm not going to go wands like main for this build. So I think I'm just going to go for the more utility choice, which I find fighting these, um, the race here, you can get all the race on you and you can lightning them all at once. And you take a little bit of damage, but not as much damage as I will be taking when I constantly light myself on fire as I tend to do a lot with the uh, fire blast. So I'm going to go lightning this time. And uh, let's see what it is. Hey, it's plus two. That's pretty dang good. So let's go ahead and use it real quick. And, you know, being plus two is actually a bit unfortunate because that's mean I'm going to take like more hits than I normally would. I mean, it's going to hurt more when I do this little zap. But right, only four damage. Not the worst. Maybe it's less if you spread it out amongst everybody. Ooh, it took five that time. Don't love that. And it's also, ooh, 17. Nice. It's also a bit rough that you can't use it when you're point blank. But I mean, I couldn't use Fire Blast here anyways, because I'm on grass and everything would burn. I'm going to see if I can't create a little distance here using this little tricky grass that had popped up from my blooming quarter staff. Like, maybe if I move here, it might forget where I am. Yeah, now I can zap it, hopefully, and get the finisher. Yeah, and I didn't take the blow-up damage. Nice. So I swear I explored this whole floor, and I even like got the treasure chest down here. I don't have the potion of strength yet. I have to have one on, let's see, on you know, there's one in six and seven. I didn't find it on six. And then I'm like, oh, look, a little bit of shadow, a little bit of shadow. So is it in this corner? Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, it was in that one little corner. I could have got it right next to the steps. Oh, what a scam. So now we get to put on this armor here and we get to, oh man, first I have to make inventory space. This is just the worst inventory space until we get the next, the, uh, the next bag. Um, so now we're going to detach and affix onto here. And ha ha, 2 to 12. Now I'm pretty sure we can just smack everything for quite a while. I think that what that's what makes the warrior probably really beginner friendly. And also the first class you get when you just first start playing the game. You can get this strong armor real quick. Oh, this is pretty ridiculous too. Remember that scale armor I found and blew up? I thought it was plus one. Well, I thought, hey, heck, let's just try it on quick. Since we have this talent, we will just identify it right away. Look at that, it's plus two. So that means as soon as I get the next um, strength potion on either floor eight or nine, I can put the seal over, make that plus three and be wearing that. That is going to be insane. We'll have like all the free time we want to find the best weapon or whatever we want to find. Skeleton, you do zero damage to me even when you explode. Ha ha. Is that a thief? So I'm going to get this thief. I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to. Turn the tables on you. Look, aha, you can't escape now. I'm in the door. You're stuck in the room, you dang little thief. Oh yeah, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Nowhere. Come on, come back. Is it going to try and sneak around and get through this door? No, come on, thief. I don't want to use this uh, charge on you. Okay, good. There we go. Thank thieves. So this is the perfect time to use this talent where we can blind the creature. So we will just, we have to throw something that's not a ranged weapon, a thrown weapon. So we have to throw, I don't know, let's throw some meat at it. Here, you're blind. You got meat in your eye and it's three turns, right? Because I, I went for this extra, extra point. So we can, if we look at it here, we can see it has three turns left, which lets us get up to here. And then we could probably just go here. Yeah, nice. Now we can smack it real good. Don't let you shock me. So I understand people that want to save all their upgrade scrolls and not put it on early gear and they can survive. But this has to be one of the biggest arguments for doing so with only a plus two male. I mean, let's say you find one, a plus one male will do the trick. But these prison guards that were obviously the biggest challenge to the to the prisons. <laughs> I mean, right now, look, I can even like just hit that one if I want, but I'm sitting here. Taking a little bit of damage, but I just tanked both of them at the same time. That was fantastic. And 
That's I just love it. Oh my god, why I saved my identify scroll and I finally just used it. Look at this beast. I could have been using this the whole time. <laughs> oh well. So to help with the inventory space, now that I know this one's magic mapping, I'll go ahead and turn these ones into rune stones just to get them identified and to uh, clear my inventory a bit. Oh, so that was the transmute. That's the one I kind of wish I could save. But oh, well. Okay, we found the potion of strength. Our strength is now 14. So I believe if we detach and we affix. Bam, 14. Let's go 1 to 9 damage. No, how about 3 to 20? <laughs> so, this will carry us through the caves for sure. We are totally in a good spot. I mean, overpowered? No, but, well, maybe. I mean, you saw how nothing does any damage to me anymore. So, like, if you can get to here, we've definitely survived. We're going to crush the caves and we're going to be put in a perfect position to go into the city and beat the game so what i'm trying to say is this is probably a good place to end the video i think we accomplished what we were trying to accomplish and look at this we still have all six of our upgrade scrolls we haven't even used one yet i mean obviously we got lucky getting plus two gear for sure but you know we were scraping by with the cloth for quite a long time until we could get to the mail the mail made a major turning point and the scale this is just like sprinkles on top of the cake. This is making things way good. And of course, we can keep giving the ghost all of our hand-me-downs once we uh, stop using some. Oh my god, what the heck was that? I just randomly clicked on the map and <laughs> went on a, on an alarm trap? Okay, well, let's see. Let's see how strong we are. Come on, this is an alarm. Come fight me, everybody. What can you do? You can't do anything. A thief, you can just be annoying because you're going to run away. We will lightning you. Okay, come on. Who else wants some? Who else? There's no one even here anymore. Come on. Alrighty. So go ahead and um, stick around for tomorrow's video. Wait, that last statement was really dumb. If you were to stick around for tomorrow's video, it'd mean you'd be staying here all day. I don't know. I'm just speaking sometimes. It's, it's bad. The ghost understands me. But yeah, I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And feel free to hop in the Discord and share some screenshots of uh, interesting builds. First amulet of Yendors, you know, getting here with the warrior. Here's the seed. I probably should have put that earlier. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Cheers.